Welcome to English vocabulary. Let's go straight to the list. Banyo. Bawdy house. Bordello. For instance, he possessed pornographic pictures taken in a high class bordello. House. Stew. Example. The stews of Southwark. Maze on close. Maze on de convenance. House of ill fame. Example. Wandering down the stairs of the high class restaurant, you enter the darkened caverns of a former house of ill repute. Pictures of working girls adorn the walls and the alcoves where they ply their trade remain untouched. Another example. For its madam, it's a reputable house of ill repute, the seemingly incongruous respectable brothel. Let's check another sentence. He walked up to a house of ill repute and knocked on the door. Case house. Dress house. Knocking shop. Let's try it in a sentence. If men really respected women and want to maintain the dignity of women they would not go to a glorified knocking shop. Next example. The old bill had charged mob handed into the local knocking shop, and the shouts and screams were of punters and fallen women caught on the job by some huge bruiser in body armor wielding a huge truncheon. Another example. It'd make the back bedroom look like a bloody knocking shop. Cat house. For example, it depicts a prostitute in Lower Manhattan in front of a stoop with a black cat poised on the railing, a visual pun on cat house. Another example. And there was the ongoing question of why cat houses were called cat houses when there didn't seem to be any mice. Another example. Is it wise to run a saloon and a cat house in a town filled with prison laborers? Notch house. Creep joint. Disorderly house. For instance, in addition four of the appellants had pleaded guilty either as principals or aiders and abettors to charges of keeping a disorderly house. Another example. She was convicted of running a disorderly house. Next example. In the cities, taverns that catered to the poor, to laborers, and to slaves were much more likely to be prosecuted as disorderly houses than those establishments whose patrons were wealthy elites. Whorehouse Let's try it in a sentence. So Chesterton's nation with the soul of a church has not closed down its whorehouses. Let's check another sentence. This mythic territory, once navigated by Mark Twain's Huckleberry Finn, hosts a journey to declining river towns, tiny evangelical churches, and seedy whorehouses populated by disturbed and disturbing characters. Let's check another sentence. Go and settle your appetites in the whorehouses of the city, not on me. Mall shop. What do you think of this list? Please share your opinion in the comment section below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. By the way, the photos on this video are street photography of London, and don't directly represent the topics. You can find the photographer's Instagram in the description below. If you have any suggestion for the video graphics, please let us know in the comments.